I'm going to show you how to download and activate a free font. So if you have the name of your font, you want to type it into the search bar. I'm using Google and you want to find a free web page for that font. Now, if you're using Adobe fonts, you need to go through Adobe specifically. So I'll post a link to a different video for um, being able to use Adobe fonts, but this is specifically for Google fonts or other free fonts. So I'm typing in Old School United in my search bar, and you'll see all these different options for Old School United comes, come up. Now, I'm familiar with this website, Defont, so that's the one that I like to use for downloading my fonts. These are going to be .exe files, so that's the same type of file that you'll get with um, something that's going to alter your computer permanently. So you really want to make sure that you trust the website. I suggest if you're not using this website, just do a quick Google search on the name of the website to make sure that other people are talking about it and it has a good reputation. Once you're on the website, you see the font that you want to download. You just click the download button. Most font download sites look exactly like this. Just click download and then you'll open the folder once it's downloaded. So once you open the folder, you'll see something like this. This is a lot of different fonts. I don't actually need all of them. I've also already downloaded this font, so it's going to give me a warning label that you won't get. But the main point here is that you need to double click on the name of the font you want to work with, and you'll see something that looks like this. It's going to give you a lot of different variations of what the font will look like in use, and you need to click the install button. Um, like I said, I'm getting this pop up. You won't have that. But if you don't install the font, it won't be ready for use. So once it's installed, then it's really easy. You can go to whatever program you're using. Here's a Word document. I'm going to select this heading right here, and then I'll just type in Old School United, and there it's ready for me to use. Same thing, I'm gonna go over to Adobe. Here's an Illustrator file. I'm going to click this font up at the top. Just type it in, Old School United, and there we go. So all you have to do is download the font, install the font, and then it's ready to use.